singing a song as we go along, walking in the window in the land. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Almost Christmas. So Almost Christmas stars Danny Glover, Jesse T. Usher, Omar Epps, a whole lot of cast members here. And the story centers around this family who are having their first family gathering since their mom passed away, aka Danny Glover's wife has passed away. But the problem is that the family isn't necessarily getting along. So before I review Almost Christmas, my guest star Justin Watches Movies is going to be reviewing this movie. So Justin, take it away. Hey everybody, Justin Watches Movies here to discuss Almost Christmas on 22 Tiger Dudes channel. Thank you for inviting me to be on your channel to discuss Almost Christmas. Almost Christmas was a movie I wasn't too excited for. I just hoped that it would put me into the Christmas mood. It had a large ensemble cast that a lot of people that I do really like, I really like uh, Danny Glover and J.B. Smoove, who was also in this movie, and some other cast members as well. And one thing I really did appreciate about this movie is that it really feels like a family. They all feel like they're very close at times, and or used to be close, and that they're there for the holidays. The story is pretty much about uh, the man of the family invites all his family members over for Christmas to spend like a week there at his house. He has four children of his own and they has grandkids and uh, son-in-laws and they all get together under the roof and you know can they survive the holidays and what I do appreciate about it is that it really feels like a family they all feel like they were once close or trying to get close again so I really did appreciate that aspect of this film but unfortunately this film could not break away from its cliches it's something that really did not stand out for me when I want to think of a Christmas movie to watch Almost Christmas is not one that would stand out for me. It's very cliche in its storytelling, it's very cliche in its acting, and it's very predictable, and its story just takes a very cliche route. We've gotten stories like this before where the family reunites and they, you know, they hate each other, can they be under the roof together? We've gotten that story plenty and plenty of times, and unfortunately, Almost Christmas plays up on those cliches very much and kind of feels like it's new and they don't embrace the cliches or have fun with it. It's just a typical Christmas movie with a large ensemble cast that we've gotten plenty of times before. So when I watched this film, I did laugh a few times. Uh, most of the time it's for Monique or JB Smooth, who I think are funny outside this movie and funny inside this movie. But as those two people, they couldn't hold the movie together because everybody else was just kind of in the background and kind of dull and they didn't offer too much to the movie. So Almost Christmas couldn't break away from its cliches. It was very predictable. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Almost Christmas a C minus. Thank you 22 Tiger Dude for allowing me to be on your channel here to discuss Almost Christmas. Remember that I have it, you have it, and that is Tiger Power. Thank you so much, Justin, for reviewing Almost Christmas. Almost Christmas is a film that I was not looking forward to. I had very low expectations for this film. Of course, I still went in with an open mind, but I just had very low expectations. I thought the trailer for this film was absolute garbage. I thought this film was going to be terrible. And I have to say, after watching Almost Christmas, this was a surprisingly okay movie. It's not good, but I don't think it's a terrible terrible film. I actually have to say it wasn't that bad. It's still not good. It's still not something I remember, but you know, after watching this movie, I just said that was fine. You know, it could have been better, but it could have been worse, honestly. The cast actually did a really great job. I thought everyone actually brought so much energy to the table. Everyone was having a lot of fun. You know, say what you will about the characters, but I actually thought performances wise, everyone actually did a very great job. My favorite performance obviously being from Danny Glover. I thought Danny Glover honestly had the most heartfelt performance in this film. JB Smooth, uh, he was actually very funny here. I actually really liked JB Smooth. Omar Epps was really good here. John Michael Higgins, 
Uh, he's good, but it wouldn't be any different if he wasn't really in this film, to be honest. As much as I did like seeing him here, I don't really think he actually needed to be in this film. And I'll say Jesse T. Usher, who you may remember from Independence Day Resurgence from earlier this year as, you know, Will Smith's son. And whereas in Independence Day Resurgence, for the most part, he really was not good in that film. He was just so boring and lackluster in that film. I have to say he gave a better performance here in Almost Christmas. Yeah, he definitely shows that he has emotional range to his character, so I was very impressed by him. And everyone else in, in this cast actually did a really good job. I did really like the cinematography. This is a very well shot movie. So many beautiful shots. And it is actually very well directed. It's from the director of Baggage Claim, that movie that starred Paula Patton. It's from that same director, and I have to say that this director actually did a very good job. And I was actually surprised by how funny sometimes this film was. Like, there were actually some moments in this film where I was actually laughing pretty dang hard. Especially with one scene with J.B. Smooth. Uh, that, that was plain funny right there. It deals with the rooftop. That was probably the funniest scene, in my opinion. And and I do have to say that, yes, there were surprisingly some nice heartwarming moments into the film. So that's something I'll say I appreciate about Almost Christmas. Now, the problems I did have with Almost Christmas is that a lot of humor didn't really work for me. Uh, a lot of the characters can come off as quite obnoxious. And it does become rather repetitive. It's just the family members just getting mad at each other, just yelling at each other. And I didn't really care for a lot of the storylines that were in this film. Any scene dealing with Danny Glover I cared about, but when you focus on other characters, I wasn't really latching onto them that much personally. It's not memorable to be honest. I mean, the storyline was fine for what it was. It did serve for what I need to do to move the movie along, but I'm not gonna remember the story. The writing is okay, it has some good moments, but for the most part, the writing I thought could have been a lot better. It was just okay at best. And just like I said earlier, John Michael Higgins, he really did not need to be in this film. And then the film does get very over the top as it goes along, especially once it's Christmas day, you know, once everyone's celebrating Christmas, that's when it gets way too silly in my opinion, and the humor really wasn't landing and it just came off as forced in my opinion like I just felt like they were trying too hard to go out there with the family chaos and it wasn't exactly working for me and then the film is very predictable you know where the storyline is gonna go you know where it's gonna end although I will say how this film ended was very heartwarming and all that but you do know where it's gonna go and it's definitely a huge problem when you're not invested in the storyline and this is a two hour long film and I will say even though it's a film I wasn't really caring for that much it's not that badly paced actually but there were definitely moments where I could feel the two hour running time overall you guys almost Christmas I think is just an okay movie it does have great performances there are some funny moments to the film it does have great cinematography it is well directed but the writing is just and to me, a lot of the humor felt forced to me, as well as this whole storyline with the family not really getting along with each other, that felt forced. There's definitely some heartwarming moments sprinkled into the film, but for the most part, it was just a very forced film that's not going to stick out with me. It's fine, so I'm going to give Almost Christmas 2 out of 4 stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Almost Christmas. And I would also have to thank my guest star, Justin Watches Movies, for coming here to review Almost Christmas. He's a very cool dude, you guys. If you guys want to check out his channel, I will leave a link in the description down below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.